Kaylee Spaney might not be a household name yet, but you might recognize her from her roles in popular shows and movies like Mayor of Easttown, Priscilla, Alien Romulus, Civil War, or Bad Times at the El Royale. Her career has been all about transformation and growth, and she's driven by a strong sense of determination. She describes herself as both confident and insecure, but always motivated. Though her rise in Hollywood has been recent, she is quickly becoming a star to watch. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Kaylee Spaney. She started performing at an early age. Kaylee Spaney was born on July 24, 1998, in Springfield, Missouri. From a young age, she knew she wanted to leave Missouri and explore the world beyond her small town. To make that happen, she turned to performing, seeing it as her way out. She spent much of her time at the Springfield Little Theater, taking dance, vocal, and acting classes almost every day, and participated in a variety of plays. She left school at 13 to pursue her acting career. At 13, Kaylee Spaney also began performing at Silver Dollar City, an 1880s-themed amusement park in Branson, Missouri. Her career aspirations cemented, she refused to keep up with her homeschooling and committed to becoming a professional actor around this time. While waiting for her big break, she spent a lot of time watching movies to learn about acting. She studied the differences between film genres by watching movies from action-packed 80s hits to small indie films. This was her way of learning since she didn't attend acting school. It took years for her to land her first film role. Like many aspiring actors, Kaylee Spaney aimed for Hollywood success. She began making regular 25-hour road trips from Springfield to California with her mother and two younger siblings to attend auditions. Her first was for an unspecified Disney Channel program. Depending on her schedule, they would spend between one to five months moving from hotels to staying with host families. She told The Face, we would all share little rooms, so I'd wait until everyone went to bed to prepare for my auditions. I'd lay in the bathroom with my script in the middle of the night, memorizing my lines. But her dedication didn't lead to any bookings. After four years of continuous rejections, her parents considered ending the cross-country journeys. Finally, at age 18, she caught a break with her debut role in an action blockbuster Pacific Rim Uprising. Pacific Rim Uprising changed her life. To get the part in the 2018 action film Pacific Rim Uprising, Kaylee Spaney went all out during her audition, covering her face with dirt, wearing a hooded jacket, and even slamming herself to the ground. Her hard work paid off, and she got the role, going from performing in small community theaters to acting alongside stars like John Boyega. Filming took her to Australia, where she had some surreal experiences, like shooting in a haunted warehouse on an island near Sydney. After her success in Pacific Rim Uprising, she quickly got more acting roles, including parts in Bad Times at the El Royale and a lead role in The Craft Legacy. Her career was officially taking off. Her role in Devs was originally written as a boy. After moving to Los Angeles and starring in films like Bad Times at the El Royale, Kaylee Spaney transitioned to television, appearing in shows like Mayor of Easttown, Devs, and The First Lady. In Devs, Spaney played a character named Lyndon, who was originally written as a boy. Director Alex Garland cast her without changing the role, as he was impressed with her audition and wanted a boy-like presence that he didn't find in male actors. Spaney trusted Garland's vision. She told Empire, I just knew that I was going to be safe. If it was any other director, I'd be like, this is too weird. But I knew Alex does things like that, and it just sort of works. She earned a Golden Globe nomination for her role in Priscilla. In 2023, Kaylee Spaney landed the lead in Sofia Coppola's film Priscilla, which tells the story of Priscilla Presley, Elvis's wife. Spaney played Priscilla from her teenage years through her divorce from Elvis. She felt a connection to the character, as both she and Priscilla made big sacrifices for their dreams, with their families supporting their decisions. Spaney's performance received high praise from critics and director Sofia Coppola, who admired her ability to convey deep emotions with subtle expressions. In the film, she starred alongside Jacob Elordi, who played Elvis. Spinney said they shared a similar approach to acting, calling them both nerds about their work. Her dedication earned her a Golden Globe nomination, marking the start of what could be many future recognitions. She got into photography for her Civil War role. After working with director Alex Garland on the show Devs, Kaylee Spinney was cast in his 2024 film Civil War, starring alongside Kirsten Dunst. In the movie, Spenny plays Jesse, a brave young photojournalist capturing images of a war in America. 
To prepare for the role, she learned how to use film cameras and even took some of the photos on set, just like her character. During a tense scene in the film, Garland let Spaney decide which shots to take, giving her creative control. Though some of her photos came out blurry, they reshot them with professionals following Spaney's direction. She tried to pursue a music career. Before Kaylee Spaney's acting career took off, she tried to pursue a music career. At age 11, she began taking guitar and piano lessons. She soon started a rock cover band called NRG with Friends. They performed songs by Pink Floyd and Joan Jett at birthday parties and nearby festivals. As a teenager, she was signed by Futura Town Music, an LA-based independent record label. Unfortunately, it seems like she's only officially released two songs. Her debut single, called Fallen, was released in 2016. She was starstruck meeting Taylor Swift. Being a big pop music fan, Kaylee Spaney spoke to one of her idols, Taylor Swift, at the 2024 Golden Globes. On Jimmy Kimmel Live, she shared that she was thrilled to attend the event where she was nominated for her role in Priscilla. She was seated at what she called a winner's table, but noticed her name tag had been moved, possibly to make space for Taylor Swift, who ended up sitting there. Throughout the night, she was so focused on Taylor Swift that she barely paid attention to the awards. She said, I was just staring at the back of her head the whole night. I couldn't believe this is my life. Her friend insisted that they couldn't leave without meeting Swift, and by the end of the night, they succeeded. I could have said so many things, like, I loved your last album, or wow, the Eras tour. But instead, I just said, your hair is so pretty, it's such a nice color. Taylor praised Spaney's performance in Priscilla and even remembered her minor role in Mayor of Easttown, which amazed Spaney. She is not sure she wants to act forever. Kaylee Spaney's career is on the rise, with her performance in the 2024 Alien Romulus earning rave reviews. Many people see her as a major talent in Hollywood, with fans calling her the best actress of her generation and predicting she'll become a true movie star. Despite reaching this high point in her career, Spaney is unsure if she wants to stay in the spotlight. She told the New York Times that she's considering stepping away from acting, feeling like this might be just one chapter of her life, not her whole story. After taking a break following Romulus, she started wondering if acting was the only path for her. Whether Spaney continues her journey in Hollywood or chooses a different path, her future remains uncertain and her transformation is still in progress.